Listen, Todd. You're only making things more difficult on yourself. I told you, I didn't do anything. We found the stolen jewelry in your closet. I don't know how they got there. And the shotgun used to kill Warfield. And this piece of paper we found in your address book. It's the combination to the Warfield safe. Well, what about Leon Banks? You talk to him, man, he'll tell you I was with him all night. Driving around, looking for uh, houses to burglar. Yeah, around. yeah, ask him, man, ask we him. We did. We have a statement from him. Well, what'd he say? He said he hadn't seen you that whole night. He's lying. Well, looks like we got our man. Is that your professional opinion? Yes. Based on what? Based on what I've heard. I see. You want to be DA someday? Yes, sir. So that you can be governor like your old man, right? Yes, sir, I wouldn't mind. Then stop having opinions before you know what the facts are. Hmm? Hmm? Yes, sir. Now get me Jack Styles. I'd like to make a toast. To what? To your beauty, your charm, your intelligence, your good fortune in meeting someone like myself. <laughs> I, uh... What? I've got a surprise for you. For me? What? You have to close your eyes. What are we doing? Keep your eyes closed. Okay. Open them. of what I can deliver if you buy from me instead of Harry. Won't Harry be upset? Harry will never know. I think you're terrific, you know that? Mm, and I think you're swell. So, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. I've got a surprise for you. What? It's a surprise. Now close your eyes. If you don't, it's not a surprise. Close the close, the close, the close. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, give me your hand. Okay? Okay. It's a bracelet. Waiter! Jake, is this some kind of joke? That's no joke. I want you to uh, read the lady her rights. Take her downtown and book her. Jake! Have fun, sweetheart. You have the right to remain silent. Self comfortable. Did you get my message? Yeah, I got it. I've been downtown getting a statement from Claudia Parks. Oh, and how is your dear Claudia? Well, among her many talents, and she has many, <laughs> Claudia can sing, which is what she's been doing all afternoon. I think she'll cut whatever deal you want. Uh, nice work, Jake. Thanks. Are you aware that your $10 dog is drooling all over my $1,400 Italian chair? Max is not a $10 dog. I gave the pound $15 for him. Well, maybe it was $12.50. I don't remember. Well, I guess you uh, want to talk about the Warfield case, right? Mm. You want a drink? No. I already helped myself. OK. If you don't mind my asking you, with your salary, how the hell can you afford all of this junk? 
It's so awful that it's got to be expensive. I'm going to pass on the inflammatory part of that remark and just say that uh, people like to give me things. I like to think it's because of my personality. When I was a cop, we called that being on the arm. Well, it's better than being on the take, although having a reputation for being just a little crooked sometimes comes in handy. Evidently. Oh, tell me, what is this thing? Looks like a neon marquee on a non-sectarian whorehouse. It's a phone. They make this kind of stuff in the 20th century. You've heard of the 20th century, haven't you? Oh, yes, yes. But phones should be like the original Ford automobile. You can get any color you want as, as long, long as, as it's, it's black. black. I know. Did you read the department's report on the Warfield murder? Cover to cover, what's the problem? I'm not sure. It's all a little too neat for me. One, this professional burglar leaves the stolen jewelry and the murder weapon in his apartment where we can find it. Two, I see the victim that day and he seems depressed. His maid says the same thing. His wife tells a different story. So? So then the wife fingers Todd Carter. Oh, and another thing, the same night he was killed, Warfield smashes all the personal mementos in his den. All in all, it sounds like John Warfield had a bad day. Uh, I know it could be all coincidental, but it sure as hell is eating at me. There's something wrong, Jake. Something really wrong. Where do I start? Well, Carter seemed sure that this Leon Banks character would give him an alibi before he heard that Banks left him hung out to dry. Okay. I'll go have a talk with Leon. You know, J.L., Max looks a little under the weather, doesn't he? He's not eating. Maybe he's tired of looking like you. It's a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> I'll be in touch. I figured that your maid was watching the idiot box too loud <laughs> and, and didn't hear me. Well, actually, the maid's away for a few days. The maid's away for a few days? Oh. Well, you wouldn't mind if I just take a look at your den one more time, would well, you? Well, no, of course not. Is there anything wrong? Oh, no, no, nothing. Are you looking for anything in particular? No, 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 no. Just, just looking. May I ask why? Mrs. Warfield, I'm going to tell you the truth. There is something about the night of the murder that bothers me. Why would your husband destroy all of these things? They must have been most precious to him. I don't know. If I tell you something, can you treat it confidentially? Well, that depends entirely on what it is. John had been drinking recently more and more, and when he drank, he became depressed. And that could explain all of this. Yes, that certainly could. But it wouldn't explain why he was so cheerful that afternoon, would it? Yes, he wasn't drinking then. But this doesn't have anything to do with Todd Carter, does it? Or does it? No, no. Not at all. Who is it that... Excuse me. Hello, Carson. I haven't had a chance to talk to you in years. And I'm sorry that it's under these circumstances. I, I thought you were living in Miami. No, my father gave me an opportunity to work with him. And... Oh, well, I, I was always under the impression that you didn't really care for the lumber business. Well, it was time to settle down. My goodness, you're beginning to even sound like your father. Good for you. 
<laughs> well, I better be going. I'll find my way out. Oh. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. So good to see you again. Good evening. You too. Bye-bye. Trouble. Mm. You better get Leon Banks out of town. Come on in. I'll be ready in a minute. Ready for what, Leon? You, uh, taking a little vacation? Huh? Nothing formal, I see. Who are you? I'm an acquaintance of Todd Carter. He suggested I come by and see you today. Now, he's very, uh, very upset about being framed for murder. What do you want? Me? I, I don't want anything. Todd. Todd would like you to be his friend and tell the police where you really were the night Warfield was killed. Where's his collection? Is yours? I think you better get out of here. You were with Todd that night, weren't you? Who are you? I'm a cop. So why don't you tell me the whole story? Save you a trip downtown. Won't have to fight the traffic. Find a parking space. What do you think? We disappointed you, Leon. 